Good morning, y'all. It's 9.50. Always got my cabinets open. I don't know why I'm like a cabinet op lever opener. I don't be noticing it until I start recording. I just be leaving my cabinets open. Um, so good morning, y'all. So it is 9.50 a.m., which is pretty late for me. But I woke up at 6 a.m. Oh, the cabinet's still open. Something's stuck. What is it? Anyway, um, I woke up at like 6 a.m. and I ended up watching Krishan give birth that popped up on my YouTube channel. <laughs> and then uh, I went back to sleep. So now I'm awake. So I woke up at like 8 something, but then I laid in bed watching some YouTube. Then I, you know, brushed my teeth and stuff. I ended up cleaning my bathrooms, both toilets, because I started cleaning my bathrooms last night, but I still needed to scrub the toilets. So I scrubbed the toilets and now it's 9.50. And I'm already ready to go because I already knew today I'm going to Target. I'm very excited. I want to try that Olipop everybody's drinking. That's really why I'm going to Target. But I'm also going to return my, um, I'm over here looking to see if I find the, can find the box. Hopefully they'll accept it. I want to return, I should, um, anyway, I want to return my sunscreen. I bought some La Roche, La Roche Pose mineral sunscreen for $40, y'all. And I just can't stand the white cast. I was trying to get with mineral sunscreen because I know it's better than other sunscreens, but it just makes me look ashy. And I, I try to mix it with Vaseline or mix it with lotion to make it better. But then when I do, then my face feels very heavy with product. And then I get this like dirty feeling that I have to go throughout the day feeling, especially if I use Vaseline. So I don't like it. I do. <clears throat> and then TJ Maxx is down the street. So I want to run in there and just see what they got. You know, just, you know, just see what they got. Because yesterday, one of my favorite shirts, I sprayed perfume on it and got an oil stain. So I got it in the bathroom right now, soaking with baking soda on it to see if that could possibly pull out the oil. But I didn't realize that I had an oil stain until after church when I went to the bathroom. And I'm like, what's that on my shirt? So it had to be sitting there for at least two hours on my shirt drying. So we'll see if it doesn't come out clear. I'll just reorder them. They were from Shein. So and I had them for about two years now. So whatever. Um, but y'all yeah, want to run into TJ Maxx if they're open today. Today is Labor Day. So I'm not sure if they're open. But if they are open, I just want to see what they have. I'm trying to, you know, find more things to wear to church and work. So it's 10 a.m. So I shortened my 30 minute work workout to a 15 minute workout because I also have a 25 minute stretch, making the, the workout a total of 40 minutes. That'll put me at 1040 when I'm done. Then I gotta make my protein shake. Then I don't have to shower. So by the time I get to Target, it's gonna be like 12. Like that's almost time for my son to come home. I gotta get moving. So I'll see y'all soon. So I just got my car to go to, my skin look good today. I got on my black girl sunscreen. I know I got my blemishes, but it looks pretty good. Um, so I just got my car to go to Target. I'm all excited. It's 11.30 a.m. So I'm doing good on time and my car won't start. Now my battery died on Thursday night because I left my light on while I went to my cousin's volleyball game, which was like a three hour volleyball game. Um... And I got it jumped, but I drove it Friday, Saturday, and... Did I leave yesterday? Yeah, I went to church. I drove it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. and I, But it it felt weak. I don't know how to explain it, but it felt... Like, every time I tried to start it, it was, like, a little bit weak before it got started. But today, it just won't start. It won't start. This is frustrating. Like, I'm glad I'm at home because I could just go in the house um, and clean until roadside assistance gets here. This time I can go in the house and I can clean and I can do things backwards and I can go to Target once they fix my car. But I just wanted to go early. I don't know. It's just something about getting out there early in the morning time, being at Target in the morning ish. It's 1130, like I said. And I wanted to go to TJ Maxx early. But I'm about to uh, make my roadside claim so they can get out here in about 30 minutes, start this car. And I'm going to buy myself a battery jump box because. I think it's a great investment. Even though I do have roadside assistance, you still have to wait on them when I could just pull my own box out, jump myself real quick and go. 
if that is a problem like i usually don't have a problem with my car's battery but especially with the winter coming up because um if you live in a cold state like i do sometimes your battery can just die from being too cold so i think i'm gonna invest in that it's somewhere between 100 and 200 dollars i think it's worth it to just have and then you can have it for friends and family like if somebody you know, if you know somebody and they need to jump and they don't have roadside assistance, you can come jump in. Maybe you could charge people <laughs> if you want. But, um, but yeah, let me go ahead and make this claim. All right, y'all, my car is running. The same dude that helped me the other day is the same dude that helped me now. Now he know where I live. <laughs> he didn't flirt with me or nothing, even though he is cute. He cute, but he like, he probably about like 5'9". And I want to be with a man the six two or uh, taller but he is cute i thought he was cute the other day but i couldn't flirt with my brother sitting right here that's weird um so i saw him got the car i said it's the same dude for another day i need to get me one of them boxes he got and i can start making doing these calls and getting paid for it it's a little side hustle all right i'm on my way to target now y'all i should i'm just kind of scared to turn my car off i feel like i gotta drive for at least 25 minutes to charge my battery But Target is only like 10 minutes away. You won't break my soul. I don't know where that came from. I think I saw it on. But um, Lord, let us pray. Let me let me talk to God real quick because I can't have my battery die at Target. So let me talk to God real quick and ask him to, to do me a solid. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. I'm nervous, but I'm about to stop the car. And get out. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Woo. All right. Let us pray. I might be fasting here because I ain't trying to play. I ain't trying to play no games. So let me go in here. I think I am going to return this sunscreen because, like I said, it's given. I don't know how to match my makeup. So we'll see if they take it. If they don't take it, I won't be mad. But if they take it, I'll be happy to get $40 back. And I'll get me a cheaper mineral one. I'll get the Eucerin one for like $20 and save $20. Cause if I'm gonna look ashy, I'm gonna look ashy for cheap, you know. I mean, cheaper, cheaper. But I also still got a set of field one at home, so like, do I need any of this? No, I might just get another black girl sunscreen and mix it with um, mix it with the set of one I have at home. Well, it feels so good out here, y'all. Anyway, I'm at Target, Targetto, just playing Target, not ghetto. But I'll see y'all inside. I forgot I needed all three of these things. These are for my son's teeth. Let's see what type of toothpaste. He uses regular toothpaste. Let me get some more of this because I'm running low anyway. I'm gonna try this because I just returned that other one. Try this. I'm trying again. Alright, they're on sale two for four. So let me see. I'm gonna try. I think I'm gonna try mm, lemon lime and grape. I kind of want to try cherry cola too, but I'm only trying two, so I'm gonna try the other two. These are a dollar sixty-nine for a hundred. I swear you get more at the dollar store, but there's no guarantee that the dollar store has them. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get them here. But and these aren't cute. The ones at the dollar store are like pretty colors, but i don't want to not get them here and then go to the dollar store for them and then they not be there because my local dollar store they just they just have what they have never stocked so i'm not even gonna take that risk all right so the only thing i need now is nails even though i want to shop and look at shoes and everything i love target i wish i could save here i wish i was rich y'all because i already see the vacuum that i want uh, so it's 200 dollars so i'll keep it on my list and check for it on black friday and see what's happening then but um Okay, I'm getting further out of where the nails would be. Let me go back this way. Oh, I need another plate for my son. He need another toddler plate. Something to eat on. Oh, these are a dollar. I like that. 
Hmm. A place mat would be cute too, wouldn't it? These are three dollars. That's expensive. I would say it was a dollar. Ooh. But then I'm just gonna end up cleaning the place mat as well as cleaning the table. So I just I just leave that here for three dollars. But these are a dollar, but it's not blue. I think they were right here and they're gone. Oh man. But you can also eat on this for 50 cents. Because he don't be eating that much anyway. I just need more plates for him. Yeah, I'm gonna get these. These fit my cabinet better anyway. Little bowl. Do he need more bowls? Yeah, I'll take one. Yeah, he just needed a couple. These are cute though, if I had like a little girl. This, oh, black people. Oh, that's so cute. That is too cute. And this one. Look how cute that is. Should I get him this one two dollars? Let me see, let me think. He already has these and we love them. Is that gonna make him wanna eat more? Probably not, don't need it. These will work. And I wanna give him a cute cup. You know he doesn't need one. Let me get out of here, he don't need this. Let me show y'all the um, vacuum that I want. So I want something like this. Like something for pets because my cat hair be everywhere something cordless something very narrow you know something like that but that one is it's on sale for 150 no it's not it's on sale for 199 usually 250 260 really but I need to do research I can't buy big electronics like that without doing my research so I'm not pressed about it. I'm gonna go home and try to fix my um my shark that I have because it might not just it might not be fully broken. We are gonna see if it's completely broken before I sit up here and buy another one because my steps need to be need to be done. I really want these for my um adult coloring book. These are the very fine tip, kind of like kind of like um a pen. They're $15 for a 36 count, but I think on Amazon, they're like 20, 20 something dollars. So this would be a good deal, but it's not a necessity for me right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back, but I do want those. So I'm glad I seen them here, so I know. All right, let me find these nails. Get them falling out of here. I usually get these for $7.99, the Impress, but they don't have a white. But today I'm thinking about trying something new and getting these, because that's a really pretty color, I think. And that thumbnail is really fat like my thumb. <laughs> I have a very wide thumb, so I need something fat like that. And plus I think that's a pretty color for $7.49, so I'll say 50 cents. Well, look how fat that one is. These might be more my style because these I actually don't fit all the way. The short ones do for some reason. No, the longer ones do, which I don't like long nails. The longer longer ones are wide enough, but um, these look wide. I didn't even see these. And I do like short, so maybe I should put these back and get short, even though that's a pretty color. Oh, man, I wish they had these in that. Those look a little long for me. Even though I know I could file them, but I don't even want to play around. Ooh, that's cute. I didn't see that. Do I want black? Only thing I don't like about nails that look like this, they just be looking extra fake because the bottom part looks fake already, you know? I like them to be a full color. Don't look at my nail. My nails are very weak, so they break all the time. Even when I file them, they break, so. Now I'm torn. That's also a pretty color too, but then that just, sometimes your nails can look dirty like that. <sighs> Let me see. 
think these jeans are so cute with the little rhinestones but they only have like a size six and then they have a size 10 which i have on but they look baggy that's not the look i was going for i wish they had an eight because that would be perfect and i would wear these for me and my son's photo shoot because i'm wearing high top shoes and i kind of want the like cut off um raw hem look and then this is a cardigan i was just thinking about wearing to work but i definitely need to get a large but i love the sleeves it makes it look a little bit more feminine but this is you know so i tried these on these um cargos they're cute but they're not long enough for me these are not long enough plus i don't like that grip at the bottom i think these are so cute and i'm gonna return them after the photo shoot but i think they would be so cute for the picture i just wish they had them in an eight and it's like kind of short notice to try to buy them online now because the photo shoot is this weekend if i order them today maybe they'll come in time but oh this is a little too baggy for me Ugh. okay let me keep on trying things on i like these green pants and they look cute with a pair of heels got this little fat pocket thing going on i won't be wearing it with this top i just still have this shirt on i would be wearing it with like a plain Maybe a button-up shirt or a plain white shirt or something like that. But I like these. So I think I'm going to get these. Look at my toes. They look crazy. <laughs> I like these. So I'm glad I don't like everything because then I have to pay for everything. So. All right, y'all. My car started. So thank you, guys, for that. Um, I have $150 of stuff in these two bags from Target. I spent a lot of time in there, y'all. Um, I have fun in there, but it's it's so much cute, so many, so much, so there's a lot of cute clothes in Target, like very, very, very cute clothes in Target. But I just felt rushed. Like I'm like, it's two o'clock. I gotta get home and start cleaning. So I didn't get a chance to look through everything. I've been trying on clothes, y'all. That's why my hair all jacked up. But um I also bought clothes for my son, just a few outfits for my son. He probably didn't need, so I'm gonna keep the receipt. And oh my gosh, so those rhinestone jeans I showed y'all earlier, they did not have a size eight in the store, but they do have a size eight at another Target across town. So I'm thinking about going to get it, or I might pick it up tomorrow after work. Um, but I really like those rhinestone jeans. I think they're so cute, and I love the raw hem because that's the look I was going for. I wanted a raw hem jean with my high top converse and the converse and the jeans are going back after the photo shoot because i don't need neither one of them so they're both going back so <laughs> don't call me broke y'all it's just i don't know i might keep the rhinestone jeans because they might look cute with a lot of different outfits but the converse for sure going back um these little plates are so cute for my son they don't have the departments but my son he don't really use those departments anyway so these are 50 cents each we needed some plates for him uh, my phone is about to die i'm on third i'm on 13 percent, and i told myself i didn't need to bring my charger i like these shirts i picked up i'm always scared of white shirts i probably should have brought three of these white makes me so nervous like when i eat white i gotta just eat like nothing for lunch at work when i eat white when i wear white white is such a scary color but it's such a needed color like you need it for outfits um i also bought this green one I just think this color is so pretty and I don't have anything like it. And I'm trying to add more color into my wardrobe. So I like that a lot. And I think that would go cute with my navy blue um, pants that I have. And I like that these, they're, they're considered a baby tee, but I like that it's full length because I just find like a lot of cute shirts at Target are cropped. Uh, I just bought my son some plain long sleeves that you need in the winter time some sweatpants these were 480 i wish i i wish i would have grabbed a couple more because they were everything all the clothing in target is 20 percent off today so it says six dollars on here but it was 480 so he already has some from walmart and i can't remember what color i got him plus um i might not put it in this vlog but one of my friends gave me a whole bunch of hand-me-downs from her son and i haven't looked at them yet so i didn't want to go crazy in here and then get home to find out that he already had you know something so let's try it y'all let me open my straws oh and they took my sunscreen back y'all 
without the box. So I bought two sunscreens, uh, which I probably didn't need, but I'm gonna be wearing sunscreen all year round nowadays. It's not just a summer thing. So I need all the sunscreen I can get. So I bought the black girl sunscreen because um, I'm running low on the one I have at home. And then I bought this, which is probably also gonna white out my skin because um, it's a mineral sunscreen, but it says it's for all skin tones and it was $14 and the La Roche Prose was $40. So I said, if it's gonna whiten out my skin, I might as well get one like this. And I did like the texture of the La Roche Prose, y'all, but Definitely has a you know a unique taste too. Let me pour this water out so I can have where to put my soda. I could definitely finish it, but it's a very unique taste. All right, so I'm still about to go to TJ Maxx just to see what's in there. I'll see y'all soon. My phone is probably on like 10% now. So I ran to TJ Maxx. I bought myself like four shirts to TJ Maxx. I ended up returning two of them because I didn't need them. And I ended up finding out that my battery was actually like dead dead. So I had to buy a new battery. So I definitely had to return them clothes to stick on budget. Then I went, ran to the grocery store. I got myself some stuff to prep breakfast. So here you see me prepping croissants for the week. I did smoked turkey kibasi, cheese, eggs, and I put the strawberry jelly on them the next day after I warmed them up and I froze them for the week. Now I actually put too much pepper in the eggs. I didn't like eggs on the sandwich anyway. So the following week I made the same thing, but I did just turkey, like lunch meat turkey and cheese. And I liked that a lot better and I put jelly on them. So Yes, this is me meal prepping for the week, and I cut my sons in half because he he's only three. He eats a half sandwich at a time with some fruit or some yogurt or something like that. So thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you like and subscribe. Stick around and have a good day. I notice I keep saying croissant, y'all. I mean egg muffins. Y'all know what I meant. But anyway, y'all, like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. I hope they good, y'all.